Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on our channel. In this video or in this series we are going to try to focus on Elasticsearch and its integration with Spring Boot. The first video, the one that we are currently doing, is going to be about how to set up Elasticsearch, how to set up Kibana and how to configure the uses that are going to be used in those two applications. So the first thing is first you need to download both Elasticsearch and Kibana. Keep in mind that Kibana might be optional for you, so uh, we're going to use it to actually interact with Elasticsearch, so to interact with the indices that we create to um, kind of check out the, the mappings that we have there and so on. But in this case, so if you don't need it, you can just uh, kind of skip it and you don't have to actually install it. Okay, so um, if you wanna get started, the first thing that you need to do is download Elasticsearch. So I have already the, the page open where you can get this. So you can download Elasticsearch from here and you can download Kibana from here. Once you have downloaded it, uh, you need to yeah, extract it somewhere, which I have already done. So I have extracted both Elasticsearch and Kibana in some random directory. I also have uh, an old installation of Elasticsearch, so keep uh, keep in mind that you can ignore this one. So the 8.17 is the current version, and uh, that's what uh, we are going to be using here. But uh, if you're looking at this tutorial in a later time and there is a newer version, I would expect that there's not much change to it. Okay, so once you have actually uh, downloaded and extracted both Elasticsearch and, and Kibana or just Elasticsearch, the first thing that you want is to actually start it up. So if we go to Elasticsearch, so to the directory which you extracted, you open it up. There is another a bin directory within it, so open that one up. And there is a batch file here uh, called Elasticsearch. So let's execute this one. What this, go this is going to do is it's going to actually start Elasticsearch for us. So let's wait a bit until this is started. Okay, Elasticsearch has started now. The only thing that's left is to actually configure the user or to actually configure the password because we're gonna need this for our later use. So to actually connect the Spring Boot application to it, but we also are gonna need this user and the password to um, get the uh, to get the Kibana to connect to Elasticsearch. Okay, so uh, Elasticsearch by default will have a native user called Elastic. And the thing that we need to do to this user is to actually generate a password for it. So the way we can do this is I have a tab here opened, uh, which is uh, pointing to, to something called Elasticsearch reset password. So with this, um, we can reset the password of uh, any user basically. So um, in, in our case, we're just gonna focus on the Elastic user, which is already there, so the native user. Um, there are a few ways you can do this. So um, you can um, just reset it so in in yeah like this one so here for example in this example um you can just reset the password and it's gonna generate you a random one or you can um put a interactive flag uh, on this request which is gonna prompt you to actually enter the password that you want so in my case i'm just gonna go with uh this one so i can actually um copy this and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the directory, which uh, so the bin directory, um, where I have um, this set it up. So if I uh, go to the um, yeah to this navigation bar and then just type in cmd, uh, it's gonna open up a window on this exact location where I need it. And then what I'm gonna do is just paste in the thing that I copied from the. Uh, link that I had open. Uh, so we have the Elasticsearch reset password uh, for the Elastic user. So this is the native user that we have now. So I press enter and what this is going to do is it's going to generate me a password. So it's going to print it out actually in the console. And this is the password that we're going to use uh, to actually uh, connect to Elasticsearch. And here we have it. So this is the password. I'm going to copy it in so that we have it for later as we're going to need it. Okay, great. Now, so that we have our uh, user and password for Elasticsearch, we can actually close this window as we don't need it anymore. The next thing is that we go back to where we extracted Kibana and then kind of repeat the same process as we had for Elasticsearch. So keep in mind the Elasticsearch is still running, so we still need it to, to uh, run. So if you want to use Kibana, you always have to have Elasticsearch running. Um, then we go to the bin folder of the Kibana directory and then we kind of do the same. So we start this uh, Kibana batch file. So let's execute this one and let's wait for Kibana to start up.
Okay, it took some time, but Kibana has uh, started now and we need to configure it or we need to connect it to Elasticsearch. So you can see here, it's already offering us some URL, which is localhost uh, 5601. And we're going to open this one up because this is what's going to give us the Kibana uh, UI. Okay, so opening up this URL that we got from Kibana, it uh, opens up this page and it's asking us for some enrollment token. And uh, now we need to kind of get this. So how do you get this? How do you find it? So there is this uh, link here underneath this uh, text field. Uh, if you click this one, it basically pointing to uh, this, which is kind of um, what you're going to need for uh, to, to, to generate it. So you can copy this one. And this is on Elasticsearch site. So if you go back to our directories, and then we go back to where we have our Elasticsearch, uh, repeat the so we go into the bin, uh, we repeat the same process as before. So we open up the command window, and we kind of paste in the thing that we uh, got from Kibana itself, press enter here, this is going to generate us the token, which we can then uh, enter in that field. So we here see the token. I'm gonna uh, copy it in. And then I'm gonna, okay, let's um, close this one. And I'm gonna paste it in here. And then we're gonna connect to it. So now we wait for uh, starting of elastic. Okay, now that that's done, we need to um, connect. So we need the username and the password. So the username would be elastic. And the password is the one that we generated earlier. So you need to paste that one in. Now that we have both, let's log in. I'm going to update my password because I already had an old one. And now we have successfully connected to Kibana, which means also our Elasticsearch is running, but we can still verify this. So if you go here on this burger menu on the uh, top left, there will be uh, this thing that pops up. And then if you scroll around, you can find in the management section, you can find the dev tools. So we open this one up. And what this gives us, uh, okay, let me just dismiss this. Uh, what this gives us is kind of um, a client which we can use to execute some rest calls directly to Elasticsearch. So for example, this one is gonna show us all of the indexes that we have in Elastic, um, which is currently just this because we don't really have anything, we did not really create anything. But we're going to use this later um, to yeah, just see what we have, what kind of mappings we have around index and stuff like that. Okay, great. So with that, we have finalized um, setting up of our Elasticsearch and also Kibana. And we are ready to actually uh, integrate this with Spring Boot. So in the next video, we're going to be creating our Spring Boot application, and we're going to set up the configuration that's needed to connect to Elasticsearch. So stick with me, and I will see you in the next video.